They are lovely faces in those yeah. recordings. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so it's the red dot, right? Yes. Okay, uh, it's 9.15. I'd like to call the to order. Uh, the first thing on the agenda is open time. Um, and we have um, individuals in attendance. And uh, please feel free, whoever okay. wants to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pass these out. These are um, Thank you. actually invitations to the meet and greet oh. on um, Thank you. October Thank you. Yeah. 16th. And um, we would like as many of you, if not all of you, to attend so that um, you can meet seniors. Because we're going to, we've got a mailing going out of over a thousand people. Yeah. to all of our Southampton seniors. So what we want them to do is um, come and meet us and give us ideas on what would make it more presentable. Because we all have our own ideas, but what does the public want? Okay, so that is one of the things. If you flip it over, you'll notice that on October 10th, we have a ice cream social. I'm in. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that is um, your invitation. Great. Okay, Great. so those are just two quick invitations for you. Nice. Anything else need to be said about those? Okay. I hope we have a good turnout, you know, from new people. I do too. That is our goal in life. I mean, that's why we're stickering all of the envelopes. I want to copy of this one thing. Okay. This that was sent to I art some time ago. Oh, it was. Okay, we weren't sure because we haven't heard anything back, so we wanted to, to send it again just to let you know that we have, as you well know, a gap between us and you, and uh, it would be really nice if someone could come and just sit in on our meetings. We have one a month every Tuesday, uh, first Tuesday of the month at 1030 for an hour. We tend to stick to the F word, too, which is amazing. But uh, <laughs> um, we would love to have somebody from the Council on Aging Board. It doesn't have to be the same person every time, and it doesn't have to be every single time, but it sure would help to see where we're going, what you need us, you know? I mean, we need to talk. We need to talk to each other. So I'm going to leave you with those thoughts in mind. You can discuss them at your will. Anything else we need to talk about? Okay, so both of these are going to be downstairs in the senior center. Yes, they're going to be in the senior center. Yes, ma'am. And the mailings go out by Thursday for the uh, meet and greet. And I'm going to hope a lot of new people show and come see what we've got to say. The board's out this morning for the social, for the uh, ice cream. Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, we have a board. Well, we have a board, board. so we those have boards that advertise well. different things. Oh, yeah. thank so you for your Oh, yeah, oh. So this is great. <laughs> I do have a question, and I wish Joan was here because did she send out uh, the director's report? Yes, she's, I think she's going to wait till our executive okay. session is over and then come up. With oh, it. okay. So one of the things uh, on, these, on the report was that there was $586 in some sense. I don't remember, but it's close to that. And it said that it was for um, the exercise equipment and that it was being turned over to the friends. Right. And where, uh, how did that come about? Because I thought there was some money that the friends owed the town that Vicki had sent you guys a letter. We turned that in. That's been turned in. Yeah. Okay. So the exercise, the $586 came from where? The repair That's of the exercise. Well, when the machine broke down for the repairs of the machine. Because right. they had to come all the way from Manchester, Connecticut to repair it. That's where the company is. Mm -hmm. So you pay for, pay for the repair? We will pay for the repairs, yes. Because if anything in that room we take care of. Because it was the way that that, one, the way that it was when we uh, checked with the state, because one was bought with state money and the other one was, state, was with friends money, um, uh, it was indicated that the fees collected for the equipment, whether it was the annual membership or the month to month, yeah, whatever monies, it went into the town revolving account 
and that money would be used for maintenance of the equipment. So that's why I'm puzzled, and uh, the equipment had not been serviced in all the years that it was there, and then Shannon called, and, and then we did have some problems with it. But it really should be checked every year because, you know, just the tension and... So how does that... I, I'm confused because I thought she paid a bill, and I signed it. That 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 came I, I went to check because we went through the warrants, so I went in to make sure that we didn't pay for it twice and it has, hasn't been paid, and Joyce said to me that the friends were going to pay the bill. Which piece of equipment was purchased by, the, by us and which was purchased? I think we, we, the treadmill was the, the state and you guys got the stepper. So we didn't need yeah. to pay the stepper? Of course, it was the other one that was more expensive anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> but it, but it, but he's we had to we had to clear with the state whether we were allowed to even charge and how those funds would be reported, and that's how it's been historically done. So I was surprised that that money was being turned over to you on the membership and the fee side, and I couldn't find Emmett's email that indicated that. So so. Is it, it was going to be sort of self-sufficient in terms of the fees that... Yeah, that's no. what it was for. The fees that uh, they actually charged $5 a month for the exercise equipment. That was supposed to go into an account to pay for anything happen that breaks down. It was going to cover it. So the money that was coming in uh, from the start when we started the fees has always been turned over to you? I saw it, if it went to a revolving account, I don't know. I don't know because Jennifer was here, you know, I mean, this just occurred this year when we were going to use it to services. So up to that point, we haven't had that need to, to See, repair. Communication is See, yeah, and well. I think what we should do is sit down with Vicki and find out. Mm -hmm. And if it hasn't been done, we should set it up so that on a monthly or however often, the money is collected, it goes into the revolving account, and then we should have a running balance of what's in the revolving account. But in this instance, I mean, just from what I know, I'm not sure they would get enough to cover the cost. Right. Of but but it's over, I mean, how long have we had? We've had it over five right. years. Or years. Different. Three years. You're not include, what Francine is saying is you're not getting enough money with the people using the equipment, even for five years, that would have paid this bill. Right. So well, I, I said thought, thank you that they took care of it. So yeah, yes. but the but uh, it's not a question of that it's been taken care of. It's just you know I I I thought the bill I signed was for less than three hundred dollars. No, so. the bill you signed was five hundred and change. I looked at it yesterday. Five hundred forty-six dollars, I think, and thirty months. Yeah, I don't know. Um, so now, I so because oh, oh, I didn't want to pay it twice. Yeah. So it looks like Janet has taken care of it. Well, I just, I just confirmed that it wasn't paid twice and, and that you did sign one and that okay, they didn't so process it. Okay, so that's what I said it. at the beginning. Yeah, so you signed one, it didn't get processed, I guess it was coming out of either, I don't know, they said the friends, whether it's the local See, well, funds or whatever. That's the thing, we're not supposed to run friends transactions through the town. They, I don't think. So they're going to speak to Vicki, who is the town accountant. Yeah, I don't think they're right. And uh, well, but, they will but, get Vicky, the but Vicki spoke to me about the issue and sort of. But who did you speak to after that? Did you notify the friends? No, because the friends weren't involved. I thought it came out of the revolving account. Then how would they know if they don't know? Again, it's lack of communication. Mm -hmm. You know, but they, from whom? They need to be told. How do they know this if you don't tell them? You have the information, pass it on so that they know. What now information do I have that I should pass on? That we paid the bill out of the revolving account? If that's the case. I don't think we have a revenue report yet, so we don't even know what's in the revolving well, the, account. So, so I guess the other thing is, has there been a list that shows what things the friends were going to pay for? No. Say so. How would I know? I mean, I. It's been again history. a reason that you need a liaison and you need communication between the friends and the board here. We'll make mm -hmm. it smoother. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, so friends I, in, the friends are in the same quarters because there are things that need to be done that help the senior center, yeah. and they see it as their role to to um, support it 
And so when issues like that come up, they step up to the plate and pay it. If we don't have to, if they don't have to, we don't have to pay it. And some there's a source of money from somewhere else, that's fine. That's more money to do something else with. Mm -hmm. But that's not been and I'm only a short time, but my sense is it's not an understanding that anybody has. Well, about in the, how we should be operating. And so as soon as we find that out, we'll be happy to do it. The in the past the major communication happened between Carol and Jennifer. You know, the board didn't get involved right, in those different. Well, so, I so we're trying to operate where we have more heads coming together to make one decision. And we've and, got Joan now, so and she we'll be happy to do that. Yeah. But whoever is going to be the liaison, whether it's someone from the past. I mean, I don't have a report from the end of last year, but I knew we have three thousand in local. But I didn't know if that got spent at the end of the year last year. So I don't have any, and there's no revenue report. Nothing's well, she's been. still closing out accounts, so I'm supposed to meet with her on, on, on some questions that I had on a report. Yeah. So, so I'd be happy to be the liaison if Thank you. that would work out. Um, can't say I can be there all the time, but uh, I would certainly tend to. I, I it does say in the regulations from the MCOA that the COA may appoint a non-voting liaison with the Friends Association. That's out of the, the guidelines. So, I mean, it's not anything unusual. Well, the, so, you know, maybe we should jump to, while well, the friends are here, uh, this way they don't have to kind of leave for the executive. This is where the, um, under old business, the legal um, opinion status of the of friends group um which is an email which i think i referenced at one of the meetings in terms of that marco had sent this to council i've never seen it i don't think and, um, i gave a copy to joan and i thought she was going to bring these things because i i particularly wanted her to be aware that um the um then maybe we should wait till the um, here because maybe well, well, the friends are here too, so you should tell you us know, what we're talking about because we don't we haven't seen what we're reading on. I haven't read it yet. I'm just referencing just, um, and so that um, you know, in one, in one of, uh, it's a couple of pages because it was a response to I, uh, I had written to Bob, and then it was back. I, I sent him this email on March 15th. He re they responded to us on July 25th, and um, it really has to do with the friend status. And whether um, them not being a 501c3 uh, being an issue. Now, Joan said something that you guys were looking into that. Um, we, are, we are. We actually have a 501c3. We have the state. We don't right. have, we don't have federal. a federal. We right. have a state. All right. The but they could be incorporated or they could be a 501c3. Okay. There's different ways the friends right. might go about so, based on. So the one that the IRS, that has IRS implications that's because that's you have federal. not made it known that any donations that are made to the organization um, are tax deductible or not tax deductible. Now you can argue wait, wait, that. We have. We don't, the, for the federal, the uh, minimum donation is five thousand dollars for the federal. Under that is for just for the state. Right. That's what we were told. And that's uh, what, it, that's you what know, it says. Uh, this is a handbook from the Mass Council on Aging. Yeah. Well, I think this. You know, you need to read what the okay. town council Can I responded ask you to. Copy of that? Yeah. If somebody wants to make copies and have them, you know, because of. I, well, I don't think the Friends is allowed to use the equipment in town hall, we so, are, right, right, so right. we can make a copy for that. So day. that's another thing that uh, Charlie wrote on said, uh, um, the legal status of the, fr of the Friends is not our concern, mm -hmm. and that they should not be using town resources. So yeah, they know that. So, they know that. So, we that. I'm just stating. I'm just okay. bringing it up today because there are some people that weren't here during the time we okay. just got discussed early on. But well, we just found this out, so we can uh, And then, and the other thing is, so that if that's the case, then Joan can't be using the resources to assist you 
in doing what you're fundraising. Right. Yeah. All right. So yeah, any, anything that gets done will be done out of the COA or the town. Let's put it that way. They, um, they went out to do the printing. Yeah. 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 So they're they're very aware now of the regulations. Okay. Um, Knowledge right. is a great thing. Can we? I'm sorry. Can okay. we leave? We've got an appointment. Okay. Sure. Sure. Okay. I just wanted to. Okay. include you on this because it was third on, I mean, I had a well, that's part of the communication, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, wow. Well, I would say, you know, I would add that there's sometimes there's too much communication, but it's no, erroneous. No, that's not the case for a moment. So are you going to look in uh, who's going to pay the bill? Yeah, I mean, because, no, because I got the bill and I like to pay it because they got the bill and July, the end of July. I'm not I don't know why it wasn't paid because I, when did I, it was, a, it was I, I at least a month ago or so. Yeah, I don't remember the date. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so just okay, for my clarification, the, the money, the local monies is the revolving fund? There's local, that, that's the one that's in the town. Well, that's, there's a the general. There's yeah, a town yeah, budget for the council, but right, it's right. divided into three but things. But then there's another which we uh, which is referred revolving. revolving. It never zeroes out. Just you know, we pay things out of it. Gets replenished from different things. I mean, sometimes people send a donation. Uh, for instance, there was a payment that somebody local. had um, work done at their home, and uh, the worker didn't want to take any payment from the senior so she came in and gave us a donation that that's the account that it would go in so you know it's never i think it's always been a couple of thousand dollars it doesn't really grow that much but all right so now i have a question regarding the triad emergency numbering um, if someone makes a donation after that's put in um, i have i had told jennifer way back when Try it was dismantled except for that portion that that money could go to the COA. So what fund should Joan be putting that in? Well, I was told when did that come up this this week? Uh, oh, oh, I know what it was. Uh, the Board of Health had someone stop in and inquire about that program, and so um, she said, you know, we don't handle it. That that's done by the fire department. No. So that's, that's let me just correct. let me Go just ahead. finish. What, if you want me to communicate, okay. you have to let me finish my Sorry. sentence. I apologize. Go Thank ahead. you. Um, so uh, she said to me, Jerry said to me, um, can you please make sure that you know Joan knows what occurs with that in terms. So I on my way out the other day, I said to Joan, by the way, you know, did somebody come by about the the street, uh, the house sign. And so she said yes, and she wasn't aware. Now, I don't know if you've spoken to Joan, but I said, I've been told that now that gets handled by the fire department. So uh, so I said, why don't you call John? You know, I, I wasn't aware. I, I thought the same thing you thought, that it came in, it was a volunteer donation, suggested donation, mm -hmm. and how many people uh, and who does it, you know, if there's one person that does it on a regular basis. But I would assume that that's where it was going. It does go, but the procedure is, and the reason that it exists, it was because Mike Goyette, John Workman, and Dave Sullivan had all asked me, please keep this program moving because we have no street lights in Southampton. And when the fire department is out there, it's easy for them to find you. And, and numbers, if you know any, well, you're on zoning, you should know. House numbers do not oh go God. accordingly. <laughs> and then we get older, we don't so, see them. And get I sat with Joan on Monday as I was doing my own, because my paramedic grandson said to me, where is your emergency? <laughs> <laughs> Mine is like leaning this way. So I explained to her, everything is downstairs in the senior center. We put the numbers on the placket. We put all the screws and nuts and anything else they need, a card with the address it's going to, and then we walk to the workroom, stick it in the fire department's box. They pick it up from there. The only thing the fire department has are the posts. 
They were good enough um, to store the posts okay. in the okay. fire station. And then they installed them? They installed them. So I wasn't in, and this wasn't made clear, but it, there was nothing indicated that said the money was going to the fire department. That was not the case. It was physically who was going to take care of this as the request came in. And I don't know how many come in because well, I think it's a great program, and yeah. you know, but three came in when Shannon was on board and she knew about the program. I never proceeded. I said, if you give me the numbers, I will gladly do it. And when I'm having a bad day, Marge puts the numbers on for oh. me. And so we have like preset numbers, we have, little, we have little cards or something? We have everything. Dave Fenton, the deputy sheriff, just dropped me off a big container of plackets. Okay. We get everything through the Hampshire County okay. Jail. All right, so what would you suggest is the best way to, so you feel that you've talked to Jones and now Jones on, on, on this page, and so anything that comes in, you know, whether they go to the town clerk or the Board of Health, then they're going to direct them to the senior center. To the senior center. Okay. All right. So, um, and she puts it in the newsletter with the senior center phone number. And oh, okay. You know, okay. I'm sure uh, she'll mention it to Darlene. Okay. The so, did we jump something on the agenda? How do we so get into this? Well, we, can we finish old business then before we yeah, jump yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because all right. And so again, I'm we happy to make a copy of that and sure. hand it to Caroline. For her to make copies well, of. Well, I think friends. everybody here should get a copy. Well, I, I'm just saying. Oh, okay. That, okay. That. Oh, yeah. Or right. Josie can as the new liaison. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And any time. But we can't make multiple it. copies. But at least yeah. we could give them a copy. The, Josie, any time you're not available, just call me. Okay. I tend. Well, to you're going there. to them anyway. That's right. It's okay. Open meeting. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I love going. No, 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 no. <laughs> you're not under so official I mean, role. I mean, you have basically four people. <clears throat> And know what goes on with the friends because you go, Francine goes, and now you're going to go. So they have it's it's remarkable. But I don't have all the answers. Yeah. So well, have, I certainly don't have all the answers. They I have can listen like, very well, though. <laughs> I think they have like 16 members now. They've got a bundle of talent there. They put the meet and greet together. They had subcommittees going. I mean, within an hour, they had that baby rolling. Mm -hmm. They had people doing the. Um, letters. Um, Andrea had done the, now they're going to do a membership drive. I mean, it's just remarkable. They've just taken off like the locomotive on the train. Well, just for the boots. Um, <laughs> so, you know, we need, you know, this has to be clarified because I, you know, once you read this document, we have to take, I mean, my, my, uh, my responsibility is to convey this information because there were many, many missteps along the way, whether it's money that was going through the, the town that shouldn't have been being paid to the friends, that shouldn't have been. So we needed to clean that up, and the accountant took charge of that because she talked to Markle and said, listen, we missed some things and we did things wrong, and we need to correct it. So the, the, the separate entity of the Friends organization to both the town function as well as to the COA, um, to us as well as to the, the center, has to be very uh, clearly defined so that we don't have any um, crossing over that would um, involve us in things that we're not a party of. And and, and the, the donation side of it, and I think there's something, well, I don't want to, Read this first uh, because this yeah. was. I, I, and this, um, again, I, I got a copy of this. It's called The Handbook for the Friends and the Council on Aging. It's from the Mass COA. So, I mean, that's also kind of. Yeah, but they're the operating line. on the basis that they're a 501c3. No, so they're that not, they're no, donation. No, no, no. 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 Oh, oh, that's no. what. There's incorporated, there's 501c3, there's not even and neither of the above explained in here. Well, that's what the attorney well, has I'm indicated. This is so what our. They haven't said anything about. Um, whether they're incorporated I'll be happy or to make a copy of this at home or forward it to you if okay. you'd like to look at it. Yeah. I did. I, I, I sent because Kathy referred to that. No, no, no. This is the Friends Handbook. This isn't the guidelines for the COA. This is the Friends, Friends. Book Hand Guidelines. The Southampton? No, the Friends 
This is from the Mass Massachusetts. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Kathy Bowler. No, that was. This is different. This that is was separate? for the COA. This is for the Friends organization. Kathy yeah, this is the Mass COA. Right, 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 right. This is for the. This is for the Friends organization. So it kind of explains. Do you want me to scan it and just send it to everybody? In I have it electronically. I downloaded oh. it, so okay. I can certainly do that. So okay. I, can, I mean, I just thought it's good information to okay. have. Okay. You know uh, what? The other thing, did we? Were you on the board when uh, Emmett sent us that grid, or I think maybe Kathy left it? It was the three tiers of how, whose responsibility is. And yeah, that was of, that was. Yeah, when. When Kathy was here, she gave copies of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I forgot to bring that. Um, okay. And can I? But can I then make an official motion to uh, appoint Josie as our liaison to the friends? I'll second. Do we? Wait, wait a minute. Do we need? Do we? Should we do that before you guys read the document? Yes. It's I'm welcome. I'm fine. So we so will read the document. It's a non voting when, liaison. Yes. And yes. I mean, we're, we're sitting there listening. So, so let me ask you this. Is she, uh, is this liaison going to report uh, what gets discussed at this board, or take positions, I should say? Because, quite frankly, I mean, Joan told me that um, this is October. In the September meeting, uh, the friends voted to have this meet and greet, and that they had um, 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 with the speakers and the date and the time, and that um, uh, and that it was it was a done deal. It was a done deal, and they were going to do it. And I said to her that I was surprised that this had been voted on by the friends at their September meeting, which was the Tuesday before we met and that um, without talking to the board. Now, I had gotten an email from Maureen Groton telling me or asking me to please let her know when the COA board was going to have an open house for the director. Well, I never got back to her and I said to Joan, I said, I'm very puzzled because the meet and greet, if we're gonna have an open house, it should be from the board of directors not from the the friends of course the the, the help is is more than welcome i, I don't but i guess i don't see the difference i think to me that's a great if they have the money and they want to spend their money to put together a meet and greet and also encourage but them it didn't have it's to. a membership drive and it just gives them right. a chance to meet right. yeah it just happens to be they're doing everything so oh, I didn't. I didn't hear that about the membership drive. Yeah, that's yeah. what they're doing. Membership drive. Yeah, that's, yeah. What, the the drive. Well, that's not what Joan told me. I'm just telling you the information. Okay, well, this is what they just said. So let you just heard because I've sat in on the meetings. Let me tell you, they want to introduce our representatives. So Dawn and hopefully Colcott is the only one they haven't heard from. Not a surprise. Sorry, Peter. Um, <laughs> that. <laughs> So they're yeah. going to introduce the select board, the members that are there. They want to introduce the board so that the seniors in town know who we are. They're going to introduce the staff down at the senior center. They're going to introduce the friends. They're going to take part. They're going to request membership. They're sending out a survey with this for people with a list of different activities, are they interested? If you fill out the survey, I love this, the carrot before the donkey. If you're interested and you fill out the survey, there will be a winner picked that day. They will get a free membership, plus they will get a free luncheon of their choice. I learned this after 15 years in triad. You give them food. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, yeah. Have <laughs> Why do you think you gave so many people for bingo? Now we have. No, and it doesn't make any difference whether the board does it or whether the friends does it. They have the staff. They have the money. Because postage alone is going to cost them boo-hoo bucks. Yeah, thousands. And I appreciate them doing do, that because yeah. they do have the financial. Yeah. But do you think it. that when we talk about and communication people. that the chair or the board could have gotten an email stating that this was being taken care of by the friends. I, I wouldn't have known if Joan hadn't said anything to me. Well, you would have known. You would have gotten your invitation. Yeah, but, but I got it today. This happened, uh, you know, I think the same way she was here. They put this together in a week's time because, again, they have the staff. 
I think so noted that in the future it would be nice to have an, a, a, a message to the board. And if we had a group email that's activated as a COA board, then they could send us all a message. We do have one, we just haven't voted to kind of put it on the website. So then they can, people can, from the outside, can communicate yeah, to I the board Yeah, I don't think that's directly. a bad idea. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, was, that, was, that was one of the reasons we had the website because we would be, you know, it's still the communication. The it's not outside. The yeah, yeah. Board, so but they can just like they do the website in town that they can make comments about certain things. We would be able to do the same thing with our website. I, I, I would like to see that direct email to the COA board so that people from the outside can directly communicate with the board and not have to go through the director to come to the board. Yeah, yeah, I, I think, think that would that be a good idea. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that every other board in town does it, and it would probably I make people see the COA board. I mean, the COA website. Yeah, I probably okay, just yeah. haven't. Yeah, well, <laughs> not yeah, saying, not but it. it's. I mean, I make a motion to activate our email address for those COA boards so that we get. Well, what it, do we have to do? We have to pay for another email. No, account? it's through the town. It's free. And it's set up. Velda sent us the information a while ago. Oh, you're this, talking about the old one. No, it's not to the director. It's to the board. It's an email address that says, you know, COA board. And if somebody from the outside, even if it's a friends member, wants to send us a communication, they can do that through email instead of having to find oh, either. Is go it okay through. to get to get? Because I get one from CBA, but it's only Ryan and I because we. You know, we avoid having the full board be aware of things. I that think that's a decision. Well, yes. That's right. Is, is it a point of a board? No, no, no. I'm talking about in terms of anything that would come up at a meeting that you, because um, I know the select board get correspondence, but I don't know whether they get public. I think it goes to to uh, the town administrator. No, I think the other. I think there's other boards that you can set it up with one person or multiple people on the board, and multiple people just is is just a very open communication. And if you know, like for the ZBA, I mean, they could go directly to Nilda, knowing that Nilda's the chair. But you no, know, I'm the clerk. The clerk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Two chairs, one chair is enough, right? So um, and I have more work than the chair. <laughs> so I, I mean, I think it's it doesn't hurt to have all of us if somebody wants to say something from outside that, and that takes the burden off of you to then oh, remember to communicate with the rest of us. So if I don't have a problem with the. I'm just wondering. Um, I don't think. But so it would it be on the, the page. On yeah, the COA page. The COA page. Would yeah, I mean, there's more. That just come. Do we have to log in to the town website? No, that has our, our, it, no it, just it, come, it come to Yeah, us. we're buried underneath the level, okay. the layer. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah I mean, I'm not good at logging into other websites. Yeah, no, you like wouldn't that. have to. It would okay. come to us. It's, it's set up um, it automatically, so anything that it just goes, it gets okay. redirected. It doesn't show Sometimes our emails. It yeah. doesn't, okay. yeah, yeah. So yeah. I see now people have my email and. Well, I'd like that to make a motion idea. to add that to our website. Yes. Yeah. Second. Yeah. Yes. Agreed. Aye. Aye. Okay. <laughs> so I'll let Felda know. Is that okay? Or do you want to oh, let her know? Uh, did I say? Did somebody second it? Was second? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Second it. All right. Then. All in favor. Aye. 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 Okay. I was still so I'll thinking. let Felda know then we can, or I'll let Art know to add it to the Felda and Art know to add it to the website. Do we know how long that takes? I'm just thinking. It shouldn't it take long. Well, probably the end of today. Yeah. Oh, okay, because I'm thinking if they're going to have these two back-to-back -back happenings in the next week, if, you know, even if there's just a flyer or something out that says, like, contact by email if you don't feel like yeah, yeah. meetings or whatever. Or, or, or uh, well, but then... That, that should then, be probably a friends email. Yeah. Because right? well, that's yeah, a yeah. friends okay. email. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So then we should let the friends know yeah, yeah. that we're doing that. <laughs> I mean, we could, uh, something could be on the website that, you know, Makes reference to this, but not on the COA know. website. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let me just. It's okay to do that. Yeah, I mean, okay. If we're, if we're going this far. We have a liaison. We have an email. We have. I mean, when is the oh next meeting? Of um, it's the first Tuesday of every month at ten thirty. Look at that, Josie. Mm -hmm. They're going to let you sleep in. So you can't. You no, can't. it's not. Tuesday's my walking day, so I'm I know. I was going to say, yeah, that, that's <laughs> normally. Well, that's a problem because now when Francine's at the meeting, I can't have you walk with the dogs with me. So, yeah, <laughs> so and usually the walk 
We'd be in about a half hour, and I'll just come over here afterwards. Yeah, um, I, I always attend anyhow. So, no so first, first Tuesday? Yeah, first Tuesday of every month. I don't know. Do they have an email address, the friends? I don't know. Maybe you can ask them so you can let them know. No, the problem was that Carolyn doesn't have email, and that's why everything was coming here. Yeah. They have to have a mailing address, and, and in fact, Vicki, when she did the letter, called me and said, "Who do want? Where I send it to the friends? You know, what's their address?" And I said, "Use her home address." Yeah, they I don't didn't have use that. Home yeah. So that's yeah, why. Yeah. Use her Who's home Carolyn? Address. The woman that was speaking before. She's the, the president right of the friends. Oh, not okay. Yet, but okay. I'll be the next Jeff and introduce you to everybody. Okay. All right. I mean, they've got they've got such a great committee. I'm really impressed, and I'm impressed that they're in and out and keeping 16 people in control, and in one hour they're out of there. You know, okay. Talking about control. Okay. Are we going yes. into executive um, session? Well, wait a minute. Let right. me just okay. guess. This should be discussed and open. Okay. Um, I want to. I want to address the email that I got from Lori uh, regarding the many changes that occurred both to the agenda and to the timeline. We uh, we have discussed. I think since Elizabeth came and um, and Josie, uh, you know, we had nine o'clock. So, you know, we went from 9.30 to 9 o'clock. Somebody wanted 8.30. Uh, Patrice and Elizabeth, you know, the earlier the better, because then they can go off to. Josie said <laughs> that she's not a morning person. So we've had all these different things but that I have been can, presented. I make it. I yeah, make no, no, it. No, 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 no. So anyway, uh, so uh, the nature of the change for the time was because you uh, said about this walking business and then uh, and I said fine and then there was an email from her that said well gee I may not be able to stay long because I have a commitment that right what time do you have to leave I can be here till 10 15 okay all right so so I needed and I knew that uh, Patrice didn't let me know till Sunday I think everybody saw that she wasn't coming and and then I knew Dorothy so I didn't even know if we were going to have a quorum if anything else happened, so I was waiting to the last minute. And then, um, so I agree with you. And I also wanted to keep it to an hour and a half because we said we've got to cut back on these, these meeting times. So I think I was being sensitive to that. So, you know, changes even on the select board, they are making changes to the agenda like an hour mm -hmm. before. So it's the nature of the beast. Will it get better? I am sure it will because these things will will improve but so I just wanted to you know publicly tell you that um, I took issue with your tone because it I wasn't doing it because let me tell you I worked on it Sunday and Saturday it wasn't the time I have no problem I don't yeah. care whether we meet at 839 I have a problem when two days before we're meeting the agenda is being changed they had asked and you talk about communication with the friends. Back in August is when they sent us the email requesting a liaison. This is October. That was on the agenda, the, the first agenda that I posted. They were coming in to speak about a liaison, which took them, what, three minutes this morning? Wasn't asking for a lot of time. They wanted to talk about the meet and greet. You changed that. They wanted to talk about my senior center, which is a necessity. Our, our center needs to get into the 21st century. And, and I think Shannon did a very good job of doing that with the website and the emails. And she this did a lot. program that my senior center, Shannon set up the meeting with Chris Hamilton. For and then two yeah. days before, you're telling Joan to cancel it. I told her to reschedule it to November. No. Let me just say, it took us eight months to get a friggin' director in here. We don't need another eight months to get a computer program that is going to be a benefit to the center. What are you talking about, eight months? I didn't tell her eight months. And you know, no, what? I let me really tell didn't. you something. You know what? You tell me, you'd, you'd say November. We'll move it to November. Then November will roll around. 
and it'll be, oh, we'll move it to December. And December becomes oh, that's, January. That's January make, becomes February. That's making assumptions that are not fair. Well, and, you know, and I'm going back to the director's position. All right. But you know what? I guess you guys really lucked out because by, you know, going through this process of a review of the job description and, and, and assessing what was going on in that office, Joan became available. She, you know, so. We probably wouldn't have found somebody like Joan, you know, in January, February. So I think, you know, it sort of played out in the best scenario. We had to wait, but it, it wasn't a, a game plan. So, you know, let's not rehash that, you know, that's over. Okay. And the other thing agree. is, we I told Joan, to I told Joan that I wasn't at the July meeting, but at the July meeting, I was pretty sure that the board had voted our board had voted to go ahead with that program and that their friends were going to pay for it. So what was the big deal about having, other than, you know, nobody called me, nobody sent me an email and said, gee, I want to know more about this, this program. It was a done deal. They were, going to, they were going to get the program. I said that to Joan. I mean, the fact that she met with their friends, she was going to get it. So I don't know why my putting off something that I felt, given the agenda we had to cover today, that to take up that time was necessary. Um, is that, I assume that's the My Senior Center presentation? Right. Because I personally don't know anything about this. I don't either. So I hope it's Yeah, so the friends are seeing it now. Because oh. a gentleman was coming in, so. Oh. Who would like to see oh, that? I, thought you, I thought he was coming yesterday. No, he's coming this morning. I just saw him downstairs when I went down to get the. Um, the well, that's stage. what she told me. He's coming on Tuesday, and I'm meeting with him. Uh, the friends are meeting. No, she, um, in her email, she said um, she would not cancel the appointment at the last minute in courtesy to him. Which is fine because the friends is paying for it and it's yeah. going it's going to move forward and we don't really need to be involved in that type of day to day. Right. Although so it's, it's, it's a good yeah. to see it. Yeah. If you yeah. go into the um, just Google my senior center, and the whole demonstration will come up. But you have a little key th a little key thing, and what happens is like when people sign up for membership that all that information will be put into a computer and the little tag will be made. Like when you go to the big Y. Oh, I see. Okay. So they will come into the senior center and they will swipe their little thing. And it eliminates all these little notebooks where nobody ever signs in. You know, I mean, my bingo group, I have to say, has everybody signed in? Yeah, when you have that large of a group, yeah. You know, so what ha yeah. then what happens when Joan needs a report, she just goes right in, bingo, the numbers are right there. So she could look up Lori Loisel or Lorraine Loisel, whichever the case may be, <laughs> and it'll say she was in on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. On Tuesday, she was here for friends. On Monday, she was here doing triad. On Wednesday, she's doing bingo. The whole history is right there. She doesn't have to worry. That's you know, great. It's oh, that's great. all the all It'll the centers are using for annual report. Yeah, I think the only center not using it is East Hampton, but any any other in um, the western part of the state, they're all using it. It's a godsend. So I guess my question is, I don't know what the power of the chair is to add or delete things without discussion, and we can't discuss, so I... <laughs> it's just set by the chair. Uh-huh. Now, I have, you know, when it was really very standard, you know, it was a no-brainer. But then there's a, there's a timing consideration also. Things happen at the last minute. So uh, we didn't meet this month, and it wouldn't have been something I would have talked to you before, like a week or two. I did talk to Joan, mm -hmm. you know, so... And that's my communication. In terms of the agenda, she has something, she'll let me know, you'll let me know, like mm -hmm. the bylaws. Mm -hmm. And that's how it happened, it's worked. It was just the fact that 
you know, things sort of got a little bit out of hand in terms of the reaction that people had about my changing an agenda that I'm responsible for, and I made a judgment call given, you know, she's leaving at 10.15, so if I leave, we don't have a quorum, so, you know, we're trying to maximize the important things. So we that's plan, the, we plan on a meeting. You are correct. Yeah. It says agenda. Develop meeting agenda jointly with director. Yeah, yeah. So I assume you sat with Joan when you changed the no, agenda. No, because I did not. You have to realize that this communication between the board happened on the weekend. I wasn't going to course, correspond with Joan on the weekend. Then I, I suggest You're the one that copied her on one of the emails. And so she said to me on Monday, in a very, very unpleasant tone, by the way, that she doesn't work on Sunday, so why would she make uh, an effort to change that presentation? And so I said to her, I didn't expect you to work on Sunday. You're the one that got her involved by CCing her. Well, and I assume she should be CC'd. But again. we're not supposed, you know, we have to be careful about communication with an employee that's paid an hourly rate on weekends. Oh, good Lord. All right, can I make another suggestion? Okay. Then? Can we not do agendas at the end of the month? According to Robert's rules and according to the guidelines, we're supposed to have an agenda when this meeting ends. So can we stop doing that instead of three days before a meeting, we're now updating an agenda? Yeah, it's, 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 it can be, it could I can't change. support That's that right. because, quite frankly, it's a, it's a, it's, listen, I do with ZBA. I mean, I have a last minute thing that I have to insert and you can't put, uh, uh, which is why I changed that other you can but uh, because that was what how Jennifer did it uh, to discuss other items uh, as determined by parties uh, you know you can't do that the public needs to know the subject of what's going to be discussed and things were being bundled and things that and now that we're being recorded it's 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 different because people can have an essence but um, you know I'm following as long as I post 48 hours the time and I book the meeting, then the agenda is subject to changes based on what happens. Okay, so do, do, are you saying that I should then communicate with you know, the two of them because they're the executive committee and so say, this is, this is what I'm doing? I mean, is that what you're saying? That's what you that recommended before. We were discussing things as they were evolving because we were in that transition state with, you know, with, with Shannon and then. No, I think you recommended it for this meeting a few weeks ago, but we didn't. That's right. We, we don't have to meet ahead of time. So right. that's, I wasn't that's, available. I, I right. Right. So, that, that's okay. so why don't I make a motion that from now on, you take care of the agenda. You post, you do the agenda, and then I won't get rattled. Okay. And I Would you keep in mind meetings. that if you hear of something that needs to be included, to let me know? Yeah. Th they're more likely. Yeah. Yeah. But everybody should. Yeah. Not a problem. Yeah. Can you okay. we can't. Can't. the agenda? Well, I'm just thinking. You know, you guys are the ones that are sort more in the pipeline. Okay. All right. So can All right. I make so I motion. I just make the motion. Second. Who's going to second? Second. Wait, wait. I'd like to hear your motion. That Nelda will be in charge of the agenda the chair. and the posting. The chair. The chair. The chair. Okay. Okay. And the post. I'll second. Aye. 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 All in favor? Yeah. Okay. So we can't do any other old business then because it's not listed here? No. Because I know at some point we need to I, get a job description together so this temporary thing okay. doesn't. All right. So. We could. All right. All yeah, right. That's all. That was another but thing that we had on this agenda, but I, I had to keep it. Okay. So we, so we, we have to have a roll call okay. to go into roll executive call. session Name. for the purpose. Name. Yeah. Roll call. Elizabeth. Aye. Aye. Oh, I. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. Joanne, I. Lori, Lori, Sal, I. Jenna Kane, I. Okay, the executive session is being called uh, under Massachusetts Three Massachusetts thousand. General Law 30A. Now I have to report this. this. Yeah. Section 21A1, reasons for convening executive session to discuss the reputation, character, physical condition, or mental health rather than professional competency of an individual or discuss the discipline or dismissal of or complaints of or charges against a public officer, employee, staff member, or individual. 
Okay, we will now enter into executive session. Where's the gizmo? Put it down. Okay, there you go. No, oh, the, right. I have okay, we're returning to open session. That you were talking about. Oh, okay. Yeah, we will. Do, do, do you want? Um, well, just the, just the. Um, just the. Uh, do you want copies made? No, no, no. I, I have one at home. It's just that I couldn't put my hand on it. Okay, so, do, what, so you know, the other thing is we need the dates of the meeting. Uh, what, would the, what are we approving this? We may not be able to approve because, well, actually. What, what are you talking about? The minutes, the secretaries that put meeting minutes. Do we have a yeah, particular but, date of the meeting that we were? That was September 6th, wasn't it? Yeah, I have, I have them here. Okay, so we're current? We're current. As soon as you approve it, when you get to the secretary's okay, so that, report, then yeah, I'm, So we have to make efforts it. to do that. Um, okay, did you make copies of the director's report? I didn't, but um, does somebody have a copy machine next door? I can for next time. Is it the same one you sent me? Yes. Okay, so. Um, we should look at it. Do you want me to just run well, and get, have Vicki make a couple copies? Do you have a report I can just make? You have one, Milda, or you don't? No. No. Okay, so I'll do it. How's it going? I bet you're busy. It's wonderful. Yes. How was the presentation? Perfect. Wonderful. I thought you told me that he was coming Tuesday. When he was, I was trying to get him to come to friends meeting, but he was coming to oh, East that's Hampton. Right. Yeah, so yeah. She walked up anyway, so that's He's fine. coming to East Hampton anyway, so because they don't have it yet, and they have a new director. Oh, OK. I thought that that wasn't official show yet. Ray? Well, I think the activity director is meeting with him. Oh, uh-huh. So where are we going, Ray? Josie? Oh. Yes. Yes, okay. very good. Well, I, there's only <laughs> some I only see once a month, so. And so Liz was here, but she had to leave. Right. Yeah, yeah. And. Um, Okay, so um, oh, she has a video. So did you give the uh, September 6 minutes yep. out? Why don't we read this while we're waiting for the director's oh, report to be copied and then uh, the treasurer's sure, report. Jim. She has. Where's that? Can you reach that? Thank you. Oh, thank you, Joe. Oh. As soon as you walk up. There was an addition, I'm sorry. I have a set up that signed way. Signed up for MCOA okay. okay. meeting. So did you get this? Oh. I have it. Okay. You got an extra one? Thank you. Right. So I'm just looking at the minutes. This time. Oh. Could you give me those? Oh, there we go. I did. I did. More than one page. I know. I broke my hand, but I had to go to the second page. Um, okay, and I, um, Milda, I just want to make sure you got my... Yeah, I said it to Joan. Oh, okay. I, it, yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is the right one. Yeah, yeah. You had N-E-E-T instead of oh, N-E-T. I don't know, it was something I, was, I just pulled okay. up. I guess. So, I'd like to make a motion to accept the minutes. Oh, I'll second. And now third. I mean, I. <laughs> <laughs> And jo Josie, we nominated Josie to be the liaison for Friends. Oh, great, Josie. Mm -hmm. Good to see you. So it's yeah. the first Tuesday of the month. Great. So, and I'll still come and okay. listen. OK. So if Josie's not there, she won't feel intimidated that she can't be here. Mm -hmm. OK, great. Um, 
we're, we're reading the director's report. Okay. Mm -hmm. do you, do you want us to just read it, or do you want to discuss any of it? Well, I think, Talk about I think, um, um, people can make comments, or if uh, Jill wants to interject something else that's not. Now, well, after it. speaking with Nilda, I guess instead of a bullet, I might be could do a paragraph. But since I was new, I, I just did the bullet. Well, and that's I, why I, I included things like um, payroll and things that are obvious that I would do that with Janet every other week. So, but I mean, I was trying to tell you what I what I've done in the last month. It'll be a month tomorrow. I can't believe it. Um, so it's been a busy month. Um, actually, yesterday was a, was it yesterday or Monday? Monday. Actually, both days were wonderful. What day is today? Wednesday. Um, Monday, they fixed um, ceiling tiles and clean lights and put up light bulbs in the entrance, which has been a sore spot for the month I've been here. I don't know how long it's been that way. I guess there was a leak. And maybe, I don't know when it was, but it's been in disrepair since then. So that was fixed. Uh, Randall Kemp got his men over here to do it. And so that I'm happy with that. And we also received a new electric piano that's worth about $5,000. Wow. Really? Free of charge. That's great. Wow. And um, I'm excited because I'm a music person, and I think music brings a lot of life to a place. I know we're limited space. I didn't know what it was gonna what it was gonna be. I thought maybe it would just be a stopping ground because I know we can't collect things without getting rid of something. So, um, but it's beautiful. Um, there's a keyboard player coming next Friday for the friends, and I'm gonna have him look at it and see what he can tell me about it. But it, it's like a player piano. You put in a tape and it plays. It's just beautiful. So anyway, I'm excited about that. But I, I can just, in a nutshell, um, say that I've been happy with the month. I've um, met some lovely people, and I'm excited about expanding programming. And um, we've already started doing that. We have an ice cream social coming up. We have the meet and greet coming up. We're looking at a, a veterans um, recognition beginning of November. We're looking at a health fair middle of November. So we're trying to get foot traffic before the winter comes. Mm -hmm. Get some foot traffic in here, people com coming to the center. I know we are surrounded by wonderful centers around us, and some people choose to go to those. This is in, our, in their hometown. We'd like them to come here if they can. Um, I did meet with the Shine Counselor because it's open enrollment for Medicare, and I guess he does um, come in uh, as requested. Um, there hasn't been any requests as of yet, um, but he needs a computer. So that's a problem because both computers are not working right now. Yeah, Northeast um, IT is across the North hall. Northeast <laughs> IT is scheduled to come to okay. us next. Okay. So they'll be here in our office today. And, and she, Joan got a request from one of the seniors if they could turn the computers around to face the wall so it's not so they have more privacy, and mm -hmm. I guess that looks like that was addressed. It was addressed. So. Yeah, we had um, one of the volunteers. Well, Tony came in, and I t explained, and he, he was very helpful. But right uh, currently, the one pass through expired, and the other one we can't access. So we're going to try and straighten that out. But um, I, and I'm hoping the aerobics is going to um, be discontinued because we don't have enough interest. Um, I'd like to co contact Highland Valley to see if there's any monies for instructors or to see if maybe we can get another volunteer instructor, which is how the Healthy Bones, I think they have 12 to 15 people in that Tuesday, Thursday class. Yeah, that's really cool. So it is. And so if we could get a, a volunteer instructor or get a grant to pay for instructors is so that the seniors. Is that what it is um, or is that No, different? that's two different ones. Okay. Uh, chair yoga is paid for. That's okay. on Thursday mornings. Um, but it's Healthy Bones. It's um, osteo. But the one that's going to be the place of Arlene's class. So but it's isn't isn't the Healthy Bones through um, RSVP? There is yes. So, so I'm going to contact the Pat and ask her if this. I could do that. Yeah, that's a good. What's suggestion. going on with Karen? Did she ever come back? The volunteer that I told you about that she was. I don't know. I don't. I, Karen. I don't. I'll I have don't to send remember. you the emails. She. 
She was the one that came in, was interviewed by Shannon, and came to almost two weeks, uh, sat with them, and, and she, she was the greeter. She was going to be From the greeter. Okay. Yeah. I will contact them. Maybe, you know, maybe this summer it came. I don't know. So I'll find out about that. So uh, exercise, maybe another exercise uh, leader from RSVP. And so it's mm -hmm. Pat Sicard, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can do that. Now, what's, uh, you told me that, and I told the friends when they were here that uh, Janine told you that we can not use the select room because of, and so I said, and they were all just as surprised when I told you because the board's said that if the room's not being used during the day, as long as we're quiet in this activity, that can be... She, I think they're going to allow the gentle yoga to try it tomorrow. She said the foot care, absolutely not, which is not a problem because it's on a Monday and there's nothing else going on in the center that day. So, mm -hmm. so why the foot care, absolutely uh, um, not, but the gentle yoga, they are going to try tomorrow. But it's on a trial basis. She said it's a professional office space. If it's too noisy, they can't have it. All right, but right we, we, to the we, we were sensitive in that conversation with the select board that we would do things that were quiet. Well, so the, there is music or something involved with the yoga, I think. Oh, really? I'm not I, sure. I thought but it was usually that would be very soft, soft music. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't have something loud. I would hope. I would it was by instruction, maybe, that We are going to try it on Thursday, tomorrow. Now, what's going on with the nurse, with the, with the foot nurse? I, I misunderstood to. that Margaret was the one that you didn't want, that there was somebody named Dee or Debbie or somebody that was oh, here was before. Oh, Debbie Dean was the one that ha was here for the longest time. And she, and she was, was She was, um, I can't she, remember what the reason. She left in a mess. No, no. Um, I think she was what, not nice to some of the seniors or something. Yeah, something so she had just continued. Yeah. So somebody was, else knew name correct? Margaret started, but she had a problem. Too. Right, right. She was I the one that tripped and fell. You, she tripped me? and fell, but also there was she left it a whole mess. It's always your fault, you me? <laughs> well, she got involved. I mean, that I didn't involved. Involved. Yes, you, you, you tripped. Didn't tripped. Didn't you talk to Janine? Janine was upset that the room she had been left. me about it. Yes, yeah, yeah. she was very so, upset. I didn't get involved. The Board of Health was involved. Because the incident Mark report, was involved. Yeah, there should have been an incident report if yeah. somebody fell, first of all, which yeah, I, I think there was, was one that's been Yeah. And if there was, I'm sure Bob wants to know what's going on in his building. You know, he's the acting well, administrator. Immediately upon my finding out, I told Andrew to do a report and he hand delivered it to Marco. Okay. Nothing happened after that. Mm -hmm. uh, she never called back to say that she had, you know, sustained other injuries, so, but it's recorded because within 48 hours you're right. supposed to do it. And there was a witness, Richard uh, witnessed it. So I was working on the budget. I will call her. You do not want her back. Is that what I'm hearing? No, no, definitely not. Definitely. Okay, so no we may have to no cancel. Debbie, no. We may have to cancel the foot clinic if I, we can't find a replacement. You have to. You have to. That's why I told you when we first met that day because she's scheduled to come October 30th, and people have. And I know there's a list of people that just kind of book. And you know when it when we first made the change, there was a big you know reaction to it because people were comfortable with the person, but then. Uh, Nancy told us that you know she they were cleaning up after her. The staff was sweeping, and then Michelle, the yoga person, was complaining that she was finding things when she was coming in the next month. Of course, we I have a custodian now, so that would make a difference. Had, yeah. So in any case, um, so we have to we, we have to get we somebody because. Well, that's what I thought. Maybe we could give her one more chance, but. <sighs> I just she, was, she was last also minute. unpleasant. I mean, I got, a, I got, you know. I, I'll I do my best, to, but if I mm -hmm. can't find someone, then and we'll have to cancel it. Was we'll she call recommended it. by Patrice? Isn't that the one? Somebody was recommended. I don't. No, no, no. The, uh, I, I don't. You know, no. since we're being recorded, I don't want to be able. You know, these are people that have work. Uh, but uh, should the, I call this, uh, Patrice? The East Hampton CEOA was using her. And that's how, and oh. then she came and she was at 29 versus, I don't know, what was, I don't know, Debbie, what I don't she know. I, I, yeah. I know, well, I mean, I, I had her come to the house, but I, I, I has, has she, has the provider, we'll call her, um, of the foot care, has she been notified as to what the issues 
Uh, not, not that she's not coming back, but that the issues are, because she needs to know. Somebody right. needs to let her know what, I will what address the issues it. are. I wasn't here, but and, I will address it. And then, if you already have a list of people who have signed up, I mean, I would think it would be less disruptive and better for morale and better for, you know, uh, community, uh, whatever. That, <laughs> less um, disruptive. That to give her we shot. give, we keep, if she's already on the schedule, you've got people listed to go ahead with it, but let, in advance, let her know what some the of the issues concerns are. are. Concerns. And then, if it's Make still sure the same, available. then there's a reason for canceling. But if she doesn't know what her, what people she are only complaining about. She was only no, 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 she's been joining for a couple of months since oh. this summer, yeah. Well, yeah. the first one that was um, let go was never told why. She just, Shannon, no, Shannon had Andrew call her. No, 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 Andrew wasn't here, it was Flo. Flo made the phone call. Okay. Remember that she? Yeah, because yeah, Flo yeah. was upset that yeah, she yeah. had to make the phone call rather than the interim yeah. director. Well, but I she think, was never given a reason. I she think just, any time well, she you want to cancel somebody that you've been working with, they deserve right. to no know reason. why. Well, let me tell you, when this episode had happened, it, it was a major event. And uh, when I got the email from Bob Marco, because he was brought into it, the Board of Health, uh, I would have called her and said, this is totally unacceptable. You have to come back and clean up because it was, it, I didn't see it, but from what I was told, it was very, very, um, I didn't see it. I mean, I think it was the next day that Janine just yeah. said, did you hear so, what happened? So, but they did it because the select board was due to meet the mm -hmm. following night. And so, any case, uh, but I waited and that was one of the first things I discussed with uh, Joan because I said, you know, I felt that she should take ownership of who she was going to hire. Right. She, you know, so that's where it is. It's, um, so she has not been notified by anyone because I, I will call her today. So the, based on this, did, can I ask you, getting back to your other report here, the website update, did you get a hold of those people? I did not. Okay. Because we can't, we're, I guess I wasn't aware that it was $45 a month plus $15 for the three emails. And who so, has the third email? Yeah. It's myself that, and Darlene. Uh, and Flo. Flo has the town email. Well, the, the Flo will eventually come on to ours because um, the, the town is going to also convert. I mean, they're going to use, so, you know, it's all going to fall under the expense of the town. Well, right now, the COA is picking up that additional expense. Unless we well, can ask the I don't board. remember $45. I thought you sent me an email and uh, it said it was $50. And it was she said for Joanne. 50, right, for Joanne Penatel. She said originally 50, but then we, she, we had quoted uh, earlier at 45. We paid her twice already. We Since paid them like $766 yeah, because last she year. Did, yeah, because she did some of the early development and, and she took she pictures she and all that. She continues to do I mean, that was the startup. Right. Right. We had okay. money in the budget. The but other thing is that it was always the plan that the director would then assume that website yeah. so that Joanne had said to Shannon and also to me that uh, uh, she was willing to to come in and train that person to for be able a price to do it. She's willing to come in and train, right. and it's $80, not in her job description. Seventy-five so or eighty dollars. If we assumed it, I didn't yeah. see it in the job description. Which is fine. I, once I, I'm getting a routine and I can fit into my schedule eventually. Well, we're doing the newsletter. We have to. There has to be a means to. If that was not done, I mean, technology has to be part of everybody's job. Or means to what? to communicate. Okay. I mean, that was you know that was part of of the and we had that was the um, when we talked early on about the state formula again. It was with the you know that she had a thousand dollars in there. That was part of the reason to the website 
It, the website calendar. was never yeah. listed, though. We ne I never yeah, it wasn't it. a website. It was under the newsletter because when this budget was discussed with Emma, it was we were not doing the physical newsletter, but we were going to have this other vehicle that was going to provide the outreach and communication. So that was the um, right. And I have that for you to sign today. Yeah, okay. but it's five hundred, not a thousand. Right. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. We have to we cut it back. We have to cut it back. So, so um, it's going to fall a little short. But if we if we add hours of into Jones Day to, to monitor the website, I guess it'd be less expensive than paying somebody on the outside to do it. Of course, of course. So if we have to add a couple hours in lieu of the cost, we'll have to talk about that to Jones time. Well, we can't we can't be increasing uh, Jones hours because she was hired to work 22 and a half. And then uh, the state form, um, the state form, yeah, the FRTA mm -hmm. uh, so pick up an hour and a half a week, or, uh, or wow, so that's just that little bit, because we were shining back in August. You signed for 11 hours for the FRTA for Shannon and Anthony. Well, Shannon uh, did bill extra hours because she hadn't been billing them since she came in. No, that was when I first took over early on. That was back in May. This is August. Yeah, but I'm talking about August. January. When she started January, February, but she hadn't billed, so then she sort of caught up with what she was. Last fiscal year, not yeah, this yeah. fiscal year. Oh, yeah. Year. This yeah, fiscal yeah. year, she it was billed 11 hours that was approved. So I, I guess we need to really understand is it I think how many we, hours we need per to look week? at the FRITA grant and see what we need for drivers, what we need for you know the other expenses, and make sure that there's enough time there for me and the time for the drivers. The drivers do take priority, obviously. So we need to look at that grant. Well, they're not going to, I know they're not going to approve extra hours, you know, they, I mean. I've, I've been working 26 and a half because I opened the building and I closed the building. I know that Flo has, you know, the authority or the security to open and close the building. I mean, I'm glad to take off time on a Monday. I, I'd be glad to, but payroll is due. So, I mean, we'd have to look at my time. I mean. Somebody has to open and close the building. Well, it's 22 and a half plus the two hours a week for Frida. That's 24 and a half. Or right? we could start so. closing the building at 2.30 instead of 3. Well, the other, the other side of this that hasn't been discussed is the fact that I see now Joan is going to go to a conference. Is this a day or night? It's, uh, it's Friday, so I won't be missing work. All right, but... Um, there is money for conference. So what is this? So, oh, so it's was, the 19th, but in the evening? I'm going. I'm going after work on the 19th. Okay, so the conference is at one day. It's actually I've attended two and a half days normally, but I would only attend the one night because and one day because I have work schedule. Where mm -hmm. where is it? Don't we have Danver, to pay something? Danvers. Uh, there is a there is a payment, and it is a part of um, part of the formula grant. Is for conferences, and I can I can have you look at that bill, and I don't mind paying it myself if it's not covered. I believe it's a hundred. Well, we have to we have, we have to operate with the money that the town gives us, of and course. that we can pay you. We don't want you giving you know paying for things privately. We don't want you to put in time. I'm not. It's a conference, so I'm not getting paid for the time I'm at the conference. Uh, you know, yes, mileage would be nice. Um, but there is, uh, in this, um, there's, right now we have $440 for conferences. And how much yeah. is this conference? Because I was, uh, we uh, were all uh, invited to go through Highland Valley, but um, oh, we were? No, 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 me. I oh, mean, the oh, board, oh, uh, okay. that board. Oh, okay. Jeez. I had, that's home ground to me. I was ready to go. <laughs> Danvers? Yeah, yeah. It's Tropsville. That's okay, so I paid, let me just double check. You know, it, $160. Okay. And, and we know there's money in the budget because when we did the Let budget. Let the state formula yeah. Okay. You know, when we're looking at the budget for next year, um, I certainly think, I hope, that we're looking about what, you know, expansion of Jones hours and things like that. I don't think we should be locked into uh, at least requesting. You know, we need to be able to request. It may not be given, but 
you know, I think it's in the town's best interest, and I think it could be presented as being in the town's best interest that we expand the services of the senior center, which would mean we need more money for more hours. Which is well, like we already did that. People, yeah. Well, I, no, we uh, they eliminated Flo's position initially, and so we were trying to figure out, and that's how your hours got cut. Was to so the, I think flow. staffing we had what about thirty six hours for staffing before, and we now we still have like no twenty six. No, you talking about everybody? full staff? We're talking four, four, yeah. ten, fourteen, and you're twenty two. Oh, no. Twenty six, thirty six and a half. Thirty six and a half hours, and before there were two. Uh, 13, hour 13 hours. hours, so that's 26 plus flows hours, which were 36. Yeah, or yeah. 6, yeah. 32. So, so it, has it still has some. Half an hour. Yeah. Well, I think, you know, and this is one of the, um, going back to what Josie just said, one of the blessings with this meet and greet, if the select board comes in and they see what's happening, mm -hmm. that the activity is picking up, then when you go before the board, you've got a case for additional hours, you know. I mean, Janine has said to me more than not, how, she goes, people are walking up the corridor, everybody is smiling, kudos. I mean, everybody is happy. It's a whole different environment. So, and it's not you know, just the color of the walls. <laughs> yeah, that too, the Ronnie sunshine. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I think having somebody there consistently makes a big difference. Somebody reliable, somebody they can count on mm -hmm. to be there. Um, I know, and I, I can't speak from the past. I just know from my experience that somebody who is there to greet you, know you by name. It's a welcoming, and th this is the. Um, this is the uh, program that they're working with with this MCOA is a welcoming place for all. People, you know, need to know that they have some place they can come. And if they just want to hang out and read a book, or if they just want to see the newspaper, if they just want to look at the television, they just want to be with other people. They're alone in their houses. They just want to get out. They don't want to go to the mall. You know, there should be a place they can come and feel welcome, feel comfortable, just to sit and, and do whatever, you know, have a pickup game of cards or whatever. Does anybody want to see this? If we're expecting Jo to um, do the website on top of everything else that, I mean, I think Shannon was working the extra hours last year to accommodate a lot of the stuff because we had money in the budget because we were open without well, some Staff weeks she didn't work the 20 hours, so I mean there was... Last year. Yeah, yeah. Last year she worked it consistently yeah. and worked almost 30 hours a week. So, you know, Explain I think that... Explain this website thing to me, this, I, I don't understand. Um, so the... Yeah, the, the, the that we're the, paying for? It's $45. I don't understand. The, the Computer Breeze is an outside company that came in and set up that beautiful website. Have you been on it? No. 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 Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so the town has a website, and it mentions the COA. It mentions COA, and it, you can get your agenda on there. And it may have a calendar, I don't know. But that's what that is. This beautiful website has photographs. It has, it's very lively, it, you know, it's interactive. You can punch in and get the newsletter. You can punch in and get the calendar of events. It has our names on it, our, our um, emails. So it's, it's different. It's, it's more inviting. But if you don't use the computer, then you wouldn't you know, benefit from it yeah. necessarily. Although you do use the computer, but that's not a site you go to. But the, the hope is for people to go to that site and be able to get And it was done as an, an extra communication because some of the, um, the, and Janet, and then probably you, when we were getting all those emails forwarded from Emmett's, the MCOA, with all this important information. I mean, I got a call, for, an email or a call from him on Friday that he was trying to get uh, a, a warning to seniors about sub scamming, and he said, nobody's picking up the phone. That's where those things would go. The Medicare scam. A anything, yeah. yeah. So, and so we, we never knew, we never knew um, that that was available to her. We were paying dues for something that it was never shared with the board as to what the extent of the value of that information. So now we have 
that is another vehicle to be able to include that. But it doesn't so, come free. I mean, that's, yeah. yeah, right. It doesn't well, come free, and it's and not free. It's to. not free because you need somebody. You know, like any place, you have to manage. You know, okay. it, it needs updates. And the, is it going to be a lot? No. I mean, you take the well, newsletter. Well, it's sixty dollars a month. We figured because fifteen dollars is just for the Microsoft. Well, don't worry about the fifteen dollars because that goes under the town. Okay. So well, that's then we need to. Josie. Yeah. And that Bob Markle reference that that's part of it. And I talked to Vicky. It comes to you, right? Well, so you afford I, that. To I I will have to print it out and 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 yes, and I'll have to probably do a warrant, and I'll probably have to just put it under the right account. Right, right, right. So what is the website address? This one we're paying. It, there's a link That's from a, our town site too, just so you know. Oh, so okay. just look up Southampton COA. Yeah, yeah. So if I just oh, go to our website, then I can just from the COA down. page. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. So it's also the other couple things we noticed that it never says Massachusetts on the entire website. So it's probably important because there's other Southamptons like south of us in the state Long of New York. I so we need to add Massachusetts on. I mean, it says Southampton, so it made, you know, some of those little adjustments or something. And I promise within two weeks I will look at that. I have to do the report for Frida, which is due. I have to do the newsletter, which is due next for November, next Thursday. And we only have four days to do this in, and today's Wednesday. So. I promise I will look at the website in the third week of the month. I, as long as I have a you schedule, can't do everything. Yeah. Right. I have, there, there's deadlines for things. So. Well, that okay. Sounds good. Okay. So it's uh, it's almost eleven o'clock. I was going to finish this meeting quarter up. So let I, mean, I talked to the friends uh, while they were here about this exercise repair bill that they're paying for, but I thought we had paid out of a revolving account. So we just, uh, Janet said she wanted to make sure that it hadn't been paid. No, I said that I went to see Joyce and Joyce. Yeah, yeah, paying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and right, because you signed it. Right, right. So that's I'm like, that we have a lot. And the money that gets collected from the equipment goes to the revolving account. It doesn't go to the friends. Okay. And so, and I'll send you the email. That Thirty-five said, dollars. We need to exchange back then. So uh, because it's. Because um, it's on. You know, we need a list. We need a list of general. who is. Because I was under the impression that Carolyn and Lori, you may know this. That Carolyn, when this uh, this fee structure got, because uh, we we needed to set something reasonable, and that the state, you know, it's five dollars a month. I right, we right, collected but, thirty five dollars, so I'm not I sure. I think it was fifty dollars a year. Wasn't fifty dollars? I think at fifty, if you pay it in advance, it's fifty, and if it's not, then it's um, five a month. Sixty, so it's 60. right? It's five a month, so yeah. it's sixty if you don't pay in advance. So if they're yeah. paying it five dollars a month, so I'm not sure who the duplicated and unduplicated is. My assume just by watching people, I think three people used it for for five months or three months. That's what I'm thinking, or whatever that is. Okay. Four, four people used it. All right. So uh, there's only three or four people paying. There's only three or four people using it. So we give the cash to Vicky. Is that how it works? And that's what I'm hearing Under now. The so I, I, yeah, yeah. I she she does because they turnover, paid the just bill. like she does with yoga. Okay. And the same procedure gets followed. Any money that gets into the town operating funds, the so we owe the town thirty-five dollars uh, separately. Okay. Um, so they shouldn't pay so, that bill either. So who should the revolving bill? Well, the, I, I, I did. I signed it. So why wouldn't you? Know, I mean, we can have Vicky walk in here for two minutes and just get down to the bottom of it. Oh, if you eight can. seventeen. Yeah. Why don't we do that? You want me to just get Vicky so we can clarify that? Because Joan said the friends are paying for it, so I don't, you know, if we have three thousand dollars in the revival you know, fund, I mean, uh, I mean, they'll be thrilled that they don't have. To I, I, I know. I mean, if we have a revolving fund that has three thousand dollars in it or something, then, but I don't know what but the it, balance. But it, 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 we we use what's been gathered over the period of time. But if we say, you know, let's say three people each year. Um, you know, so in the last three or four years, that's 150 a year. So we would have more than enough, and then the little five dollar increments. What? But do you know think that revolving account is attached specifically to various departments? I would think it's just kind no, of. No, it's just a COA. It only belongs to on our bank account. The, the, the just the COA. The revolving account is just for, for the COA. Yes, yes, it's it's called Council on Aging Local. It's two four four zero zero six. Okay. Hi. 
My Hi. dear, are you wearing my favorite dress? Yes, I am. Uh, I think you're going to be here uh, today. Dressed up for interviews. <laughs> uh, oh. Yes. I signed this warrant for this bill to be paid when uh, Shannon arranged to have the equipment repaired or serviced, and it hasn't been paid. And, and I spoke to Joyce yesterday, and she said the friends were going to pay for it. So I don't know what. Can I, can I see that? It sounds like it was already in a warrant. We got another bill, and in, when I started here, we got another bill for the same amount. I wasn't aware of this warrant, and I wasn't aware that Nick, Nick, Nilda had signed for it. So I gave the bill. I asked friends to pay for it because I didn't think we had $500. Now I'm hearing there's a revolving account that we so get this, money in and money out. Local. This is the revolving account, right? Um, yes. Okay, and that says there, at, back in May there was $3,000 in it. I don't know how much is in it now. This is what we've collected. Right. So it's not going to tell you what we spent. Hold right, on, right. let me get my report. Okay. I think there's like 1705 bucks in there. Because, yeah, hold on. Okay. Because yeah, there's nothing up to date on it. I, I, you, you know, know the but thing is that this. I don't the whole picture yet. I'm learning it. And, and I would say to you, and I've said this, you know, I've responded to you in emails, you need to ask questions before you take positions because there's some history here that you aren't aware of, and therefore, okay. you know, by asking the question, I didn't know about this until I saw it in your report, I say. The friends should not be paying for this because it's the, the intent of the money that we're collecting is not to make us rich, it's just to maintain the equipment, and that's the so purpose. I of walked it. into the middle of a movie, so yes, that's why yes. I don't know so, the beginning. So I don't know what the friends are paying for. And I don't know how it's going to end. And supposedly, we're not supposed to ask the friends to pay for things, so. But if they offer, that's different. Yeah. Yeah, but they, they can only offer if somebody tells them that we have a bill. Well, right. right. So, so they may they know about this bill. Yeah. They may know about the bill, that you know it was repaired. I don't, you know, so. Carolyn walked in and there we, we, I found the $35. I didn't know where the money came from. It was sitting in the drawer. I mean, I was doing turnovers. And we were just going through files and here was $35. And I didn't know what the routine, I didn't know what the system was. You're right, I should have asked. So what the other thing I mean, is, well, we're on the thing, I, I just have to ask yeah. you that. Did you find the Staples card? Yes. Okay, that Staple card has to be canceled. And we have to talk about that bill. So uh, Vicki's going to come in. Why are we canceling it now? Because we should have never had it. And uh, that card we was never issued. Money too. <laughs> that Jennifer opened that account, and, and Vicki will tell you nobody should have a separate account. Well, I they agree, take but I mean, it's been they take a, the whole. Well, since. You know, the it's, card I itself. Know. I think it's just that the, the account bill came to the, Shannon with Shannon's name on it, so I didn't know when it came into it. It didn't. It didn't have Shannon's name. It, it, said, it said Bill. Shannon. It says yeah. Southampton yeah. Council. So Georgia. we just. I just. I just decided to interject the other thing about the Staples credit card because I can cut it, it up. Yeah. And so yeah. we're going to uh, first, clear up that bill. I'm going to sit down with Joan. And then we're going to cancel the card. You said you handle all that ordering, yeah. right? Okay. So well, not the ordering. If we want to get a new Staples account, we would do it through our office because what we she found keeps track of everything. What we found in the past was a perfect example of you know the former police chief started a credit card, and so Mike went to go change something on, and he wasn't an authorized user. And so, you know, we, someone in our office needs to be an authorized user so that if you were to ever leave, at least someone in the accounting department has that responsibility. Um, so. Okay. So anyway, so that was an aside because it was like, it's 11 of the block. Yeah. So anyway, it doesn't be Mason or Staples, right? You could use WB w Mason we do have, which is what people normally use. Normally use. Like I have a cartridge that's running out. On, it sounds like Andrew just replaced it, but my, the cartridge on the sense, copy machine is running out. So I'm going to need to replace well, it. Well, what again. normally happens in the past when we had a look at the end of the year, Jennifer, that's why we have all that paper and all those kind of, because Jennifer would say, oh, you know, let's, let's uh, store. So she would get a couple of cartridges and, you know, so that there was always that kind. And it would be done with our local money because there was available. So I think that, um, okay. and they use Quill too, which I don't like Quill. I think they're very expensive. Uh, you know what, Donna uses Quill, and I know Jennifer used to yeah. use Quill, but I don't, 
Yeah, I but think can so. I be so, Mason? The, the, so we ordered one in August. I guess I don't, I, I'm shocked if, if it was replaced before Joan came on board and you haven't found one sitting around well, the I'll office. Go, I will go looking around. What are we talking about? The cartridge. The cartridge Cartridge. that's running out was just, we, we bought one on that Staples bill. Right, so I'm I, assuming it's unless I call one. Andrew and say, "Did you replace it?" We don't know. Did he replace it or did I he? Don't know. I don't I didn't get involved in that. I'm not supposed to. Well, that's you want it if it's not if there's something that's missing in the office that was. Oh yeah, no, no, but I invoice. wouldn't know that it was ordered. Right, they right. wouldn't call it to say I'm ordering office yeah, supplies. Yeah, right. Okay, so let's talk about the revolving because she so this is a local account. account. So there's seventeen hundred five dollars and ninety eight cents. At but the end of the year. And we spent $193 on something this year based on the August yeah. 31st yeah. report, which so I have no idea what we spent on. Yeah, what was that? Was that the I don't Staples know. thing? No. I don't know. I didn't do There's I'm no not, item I on it? It doesn't say. It doesn't. It no, it's just a total. It's just a report, so maybe you can let us know because I have no idea because I don't sign those, so. Um, yeah, these I'm going to transfer over today. I, this is one of the They're not on any of the ones that have been signed. The revolving one, I'll them. tell you what the revolving <laughs> one is. There's an undertone <laughs> here, you know, it's like there's some suspicion that the somebody has left with supply or... Uh, yeah, well, well, the revolving account pays for the aerobic constructor and the and Michelle, who is okay, the Okay, so that so might be coming out of that $193. Okay. okay. Because we collect the money. And then... And then, and then so if you were to, like, for instance, need to do some maintenance on the equipment downstairs, you could use this account to pay for that equipment because you've collected those fees for which people to what use I said the fees. Yes. yes. Okay. Instead of using so, your general fund money, which right, right. could we don't, be used okay. for what can we other use things. the I guess what can that local fund be used for? Is there any with guidelines or restrictions or we the only way we set it up and we're talking about Jennifer because I didn't have this conversation when with Shannon we only did when we bundled a lot of things that we're trying to do the painting the you know if there wasn't enough because of, of what was available in the state grant we took some out of the revolving account so I think uh, as long as she sort of gave us an indication that she was it was coming from there, it was money that we didn't monitor, you know, in and out, in and out. No, so there's no know. guidelines. No. So is it better to let friends pay for it and leave or, or deplete the seventeen hundred dollars by five hundred and forty dollars? I guess it's something we should decide. It doesn't have to. Yeah, decide. and I don't know what you've collected so far either. But that seventeen hundred is was that the end of June? Yeah, so that's carryover. Carry over. Yep. So that's still there, right? Minus the hundred and ninety three. Right. Right. Plus Whatever you would have. Added. We don't know why this wasn't paid because it yeah, was why? signed. Because I Joyce mean, told me that the friends were going to. I asked Joyce. She said, "I think the friends are paying." For yes, it. but it was already signed. This was in August. I know. It should I have been know. paid in August. And, and and Joyce should not be dealing with the friends on any of the financial with regard to our budget. No, but if someone gave this to her and then they said, "Oh, well, the friends are going to pay for it. Don't pay for it," then she wouldn't I, pay for I, it. I, that that conversation never took tour. place with Shannon and I. I signed it as a town warrant. It never, because we don't have anything of the friends running through the towns. FY18. Yeah. So what, what, is that the right account number for the local funds? No, that is that should the local, be, yep. Yeah, that's the local 006, yeah. Okay. Because I remember distinctly having this conversation with Shannon. I said, we have, we should have money. We have to, we have to service this equipment. It's never been. Yeah, it should come, this should yeah. be technically come out of. The local. The local, because you've collected money for people to use that equipment and do aerobics okay. and stuff. And so that kind of solves that. So will the liaison yeah. let them know? So I'm letting Caroline them doesn't know, have to that know that they're not paying for the. They do not have. And hopefully so they haven't paid it already, which I don't. I don't know think so. No, 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 because we have the conversation. She was here. She said. No. Okay, so it's 11 o'clock, 11:05. Um, I've got to, I've got to take a little break. <laughs> We're going to continue. So no. you, are, right. you need, but we have to do the state formula grant. Let's look at this schedule because we haven't yep. done the bylaws. We haven't talked about the treasurer's report. Those are three things that are important. Okay. We could table it till the next week. No, 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 no. This okay. is right, so you want this to be paid then? Yes, please. Yes. Okay. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. Um, so the trends are not to be 
paying for any equipment repairs? Well, they're not paying for this equipment equipment repair that's being taken care of. I just give them it and go. I'll let them know it. Okay. Go. And you start bingo at 12 30, right? Yeah. Yeah. God. All right, so I'm, I've got a headache. Yeah, this is. Because I haven't drank anything. I'm getting you headache. want some water? We've got no, water thank downstairs. You. I have to put it back. Two oh. for both. So I'll take five minutes. Take a break. Oh, God. And we're allowed to take my bladder. So this okay, is the one minute. I'm going to shut this off. We're taking a break. Five minutes. Yes, okay. at the altar. Bladder. <laughs> <laughs> We're, we're back paid. from um, <laughs> open. We're back to open session. Stop being a brat. <laughs> okay. this, is, this is for appointed committees, which I guess we are. Yep. And this is another one about. This is from Velda and from the bylaws committee that they want to pass um, overlying bylaws for all of the board's committees and commissions, so, so that we don't have to put all these individual things in each bylaw for each committee. So she's just looking for feedback. If you have any, I think there's a cover letter too that if you haven't, and this is what she sent to us like two months ago, but we've been a little distracted by oh, I, I have other that. things. Yes, you have the, and this is where you would um, See, this, provide this feedback. See, this tier here, I mean, it worked out so well before, and I'm talking about all the boards. If there's an appointed board are the elected boards, do the selectmen still have the choice of appointing somebody for that unfinished an term, open, right? Yes. On yeah, an elected yeah. board. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so but they weren't doing that before, right? No, they were. They've been doing that all along. But why was it that uh, the finance committee at one time just had four people? Because nobody came up to be appointed. I think you have to show interest in being appointed before they appoint you. Oh, okay. You have to submit the paperwork and say, I'm interested in being on this I board. And you can't force somebody to be on it if you don't, <laughs> yeah, don't like want Nobody was, we nobody was stepping up. That um, has shown interest and it's not on our board. So in that case, there would be somebody appointed. appointed. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I think unless there's somebody that voiced interest, they don't just. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'd be very upset if the finance board called me and said, we'd like you on the board. <laughs> It's like the Board of Assessors, they appointed two people, my sister. In the good old days. Mm -hmm. So anyway, these are. I think there's so many layers to this now that it's becoming, you know, like applying for a job at the White House. You know, I'm wondering, I, this is, I want to be able to read, yeah, no. read this and yes. take it in and not, I couldn't I, respond to this right no, now. No, and I don't think the intention was to do that, but okay. we received this a long time ago. Nothing was ever done with it. Nobody ever responded to it. So I just took the initiative to at least provide copies for people. And you need to get the Velda within the next couple of days because this is getting close to. Now, Robert okay. Floyd had put out we need some something that had um, said That's what the bylaws proposals were. And I know I had made a suggestion and never made it on there. <laughs> I think this, the I thought I heard that the town meeting was going to be moved. I don't know if it is. It's good in November. They they jumped the gun because they the couldn't get everything well, together. Because they kept saying that things were going to be for, uh, paid out of free cash, but we don't have free cash yet, so you can't do put the cart before the horse. I okay. Guess, so. Um, so anyway, yes, for everybody to read and respond to then sometimes And they have to have it soon. Community. Usually it's by November, but you know, the thing is, um, it this will shift what other first. funding the, sources the come. Cash. Yeah. Okay. okay. So what else is on the All right, so on the director's say? report, the, so there's only, so we covered. Are we okay uh, for her to go to the conference? Does everybody take a look I at think that? we should. I would vote. I would vote oh, that we do right. approve her going to that. I think we have a problem when she is out or at, you know, if she's going to attend, that who's going to cover. But it's on a day that we're not No, okay. no, no, I'm not talking, oh, about, yeah, I'm yeah, talking I, as a, yeah, you know, if she's sick, the office doesn't get open. Well, Flo, well, I think now we're we don't have money to pay Flo or Darlene extra money because she's going to get paid. Mm -hmm. She's going to be a benefit position, right. so yeah. we have a, a double expense. Well, and I think we we eat it. I mean, you may, I hate to say, you know, I wouldn't want to be free with going into deficits, but 
That would happen in any department. And or know, we have to go in and you know, or help us substitute, you yeah. go in for a day or two, right. whatever. Yeah. That's something but we have to work for towards the next budget right. period for backup. Um, when you go to a full-time person versus two part-time people, that's. I mean, how do we handle it before? If, well, we well, they, she didn't they have vacation. no benefit. Yeah. They, there was no benefit, so everything was worked out because you were paying one expense. Well, she's got benefits. We have to abide by that. People need to be paid if right. they're working, and you know, it's you know just. A, more information that needs to be fed to the board if we need to so that there's uh, some validation for increasing the budget if we have to um, but I, I you know you can't tell her you can't be out right no 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 I'm um, saying that no, I'm just right. saying that that's a situation mm -hmm. and that if Darlene is uh, one you know once she doesn't want to work extra hours uh, then we don't have that resource and then the other people are so not only do we lose we lose also the the, the answering the phone is the least of the um, uh, the work that uh, or the uh, the coverage issue it's more the work that needs to be done because there are things that anybody that answers the phone may not be able to right. respond right. to mm -hmm. right but I think we cross that bridge when we get to it I mean yeah. it's not I, now, I've never met Darlene, but I would hope that she'd be willing, you know, on an emergency basis to cover. Yeah, if you I'm think sure she would. But again, it's just financially, how do we support that? So. Right. Or even, you know, if we just got them to come in and just open up the doors. Well, well just like... Close and then the board members take over. You know, I've heard um, Vicki at, you know, some of the town meetings, this is the bill, it has to be paid. We legally have to pay right. the bill. But so we have to manage, you know, the, there are other offices that it. have to adjust the budget. Salaries is very different. You know, you can't overspend there and then have the town absorb that money, whether from free cash or whatever. Well, so it's this. our responsibility to make sure that we're within the budget. All right, so here's a, here's a scenario. Joan calls on a Monday, she's down, she's ill, God forbid. We call, um, so on Mondays, Flo Most covers mm -hmm. uh, for so many hours, and she does what, Monday and Thursdays? All right, so she's there. She's gonna be there anyhow. Yeah, but just for what? So two hours. Two hours. Mm -hmm. So then a notice goes up, the office will be closed at due to illness happens all the time. I agree. You know, and the same way with Tuesday and Wednesday, you have Darlene. She's in. How many yeah. hours is she in for? She works 10 she's hours a 10. week. So it's yeah. 5 and 5. So and you know, and she, and, and one of the things is that, you know, even when she agreed to those two days, I mean, she has other things that I, um, you know, I mean, she travels, you know, she, she you yeah, know, she's retired and she so wants to be able to have that quality of billing. And then she can make it up the following. Well, we'll, we'll work with Thank you. That's me. Um, okay, so. Um, you want to go over the message for Margaret to call? Okay. Do you want to do the treasury report or the state formula grant next? So, the state formula grant, the one you sent me versus the one that Janet just gave me is different. You didn't send me this new one. I, Janet and I You're worked on it. You're driving me crazy here. Well, that's because you wanted it last week, and Janet oh. and I worked on it yesterday. Or the day oh. Before. Oh. Okay. Because she gave me the numbers that you had already decided on. And we, okay. We that we had voted on. Okay. So I think. Um, right. Well, that's what I thought, but you know. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah, Again, yeah. No, I just I I jumped came in with it that um, that's why I put it on the agenda because I was not going to sign something that that you hadn't mm -hmm. voted on. That, yeah, that we yeah. hadn't, and we and we we spent Discuss. time on this based yeah, on what we needed. You did a so, good job. Um, so thank you. Um, um, Okay, so I'm, I'm signing this page, right? Correct. And okay. then Robert has to sign the other. Rob. Uh, um, well, the selectmen have to sign it. Oh, it's not Bob. 
Yeah, the selectmen have to I go don't, I don't because the, recover, um, the cover sheet. Yeah, you want to just cause uh, you can put him and then put the select board. Okay, they can sign it. I mean, because is this a black? Oh, you need blue or black? No, no. What color is this? It's supposed to be black because I don't know. They have a rule about it's black. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. That's funny because they used to say blue. <sighs> Uh, blue I have a sign. trigger finger and I can't oh, quite. Oh, I hate those are awful. I'm going to. Do the, you take potassium? No, but I had a, a cortisone shot and now it's worn off and I got to go yeah, back I on had Friday. Yeah, that was bothering me. My mother used to be in her legs. She'd get cramps and she always said potassium, oh. salsa water, or uh, you know bananas, orange yes. juice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or butter or ivory salt. So today we have mattress and box spring. What do you put? Ivory salt. Yep, yep. Still. Be ivory <laughs> salt. I can't quite it's, it's get my arm around that one. Who told me that? I think I've heard that before, yeah. but okay. it's so I mean, you'll give us you'll give work. Janet copies. Oh, actually, just I do the have cover sheets. Oh, you have cover sheet she made. Does anybody want a copy of what we submitted? I sure. If you got yeah. a copy, yeah. Yeah. I don't really know Thank anything you. about this stuff. So it's, you don't we don't have, have much money, so it's not very complicated. <laughs> <laughs> it's what we discussed it when I had yeah. my computer and we moved money. So what happens is every citizen, senior citizen over 60 gets uh, a stipend every single year. And the EOEA, which is the El Executive Office of Elder Affairs, gives it to each town based oh. on your census. Of 2010. Oh, right, mm -hmm. on the federal census. So work few hundred behind, <laughs> uh -huh. as every town, right? Yeah, but okay. in a way, it comes down with you, you know, the people that get off and get on. And I, I thought when I first started to know this, right, that I thought it would be a significant number, but it's, it's like know, instead of 1,100, we're, I think we're, oh, we're at 1,600 1,700. We had somebody, so we I had somebody do it the other day. people difference. Well, okay. We do lose people, but we gain them. Yeah. Okay, so that state farm grant has been approved. The bylaws you distribute it so we can, you know, discuss if somebody wants to. It doesn't have to be a vote because this is general. Right, this is commission. just information. Okay, the treasurer's report. And we here's. decided we were going to meet at 9 the next time. Okay, here's the treasurer's um, report. Okay, so payrolls on one side, the expenses are on the other sure side. Are that you sure that the FRT contract is 30000 was that from the old sheet that was there already? That was from the sh old sheet. I, I don't, don't, know. You don't think, think it is. So okay, so I, that we'll number contact. just doesn't right. ring the bell. I have to check it. Yeah, that um, was there what was in the system that. or something. That was right. yeah. There was a mistake last year, and I think oh. that Vicky said it was handwritten, and then the contract said differently, and that's when Jim Labrie came. Do you remember he came to yeah. the meeting he, before we signed it what the amount was? Right. I'll so clarify that. you better check. It's I yeah, check. Can, I, can I either? You can either keep the, the pink pen and give me the blue oh, one, or you can have the blue one. You can keep the pink. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. So, right, so this is the that. question. Why am I getting two pages? But you know, if you would somebody not get something, I think it was thirty thousand. This is the number that Shannon. I, I found this from Shannon's uh, files, as far as I could understand. It was from. It was an old file. It was from July, so I'm assuming okay. it was from Shannon. Yeah, but. But the thing is that... Um, but I'll, I will verify that, and we, I'll give Janet the correct numbers, and then oh, she can read, re, if she if we need to. This is all on Excel. So yeah, we just so put we in just, another oh, yeah, number, yeah, yeah. and it'll go, poof, and it'll fix itself. It's gone, okay. poof, a few times <laughs> since we started yesterday. So this is just, again, the um, town budget. So remaining balance, starting budget, 23-6, year-to-date expenses, 6016 and remaining balance. Same thing for the state. We started estimated at a 3% discount that the salaries would be 10335 year-to-date running total, and then the remaining balance. So that's pretty much it. And we're a little bit over on the town, but a little bit under on a state formula grant because the first three payrolls weren't split up. I guess that we, we redid the state formula grant and shifted monies from town budget to state budget after that. And I think so. there was the understanding that we would get at least 5,000, so that was the number that was being used was 5,000. Now we're using 10,000. It makes a huge difference, so maybe they, we, they were favoring the town side versus the state side because we're yeah, going to have time. a limited yeah, number. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, you know, until this, I mean, I know that um, that whole budget, the state is still trying to um, 
affect a change from what was voted. So 20 years ago, it was six dollars a person, so it's mm -hmm. gone up four dollars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I know it's down a little under ten. So okay. What? So go ahead. What are these numbers? What are these? Okay, this is what this is every warrant that we sign every two weeks. Payroll. So these are the payroll. This payroll. is the payroll. payroll. Oh, okay. So I see the gotcha. title at the top All right. of the page. Right. Payroll. So for this year. Okay. So that's the budget we have for payroll for the town, estimated for the state, and we're gonna double check on the FRTA. Which is really is that's payroll based the formula on the grant. Grant. Oh, this is formula grant. Oh okay. yes. Sorry. And on the back side of that is... Uh, you know what I'm thinking? That maybe we should have an informational on the um, revolving. She thought of that too. And I think yeah, because I think that, you know, I pretty much have a handle on it, but I don't monitor because I trust that it's... Well, and Vicki's pretty good about that, so if anything... Because there's, she doesn't have any updated revenue reports, I mean, we can manually figure out it was 1700 at the last year we've spent 193 so I, turn, I can just look at the turnovers because yep. we, we do that for Frida yep whatever turnovers the only turnovers I've had is like the $30 for the um, gentle yoga per person so it could be as much as 300 yeah but I can I have those figures okay so we can add that in and if Vicki if you get the final figure from the carryover from last year otherwise revenue reports haven't won't be yeah, issued yeah. for a while. Yeah, so. yeah, she's still working on 17. Um, so on the... So, uh, excuse me. So this is still from the uh, formula grant? That's what we're taking out of the state budget? Yeah, this, the 1441 yes. is what's ex expended for or allocated for expenses under the state formula okay. grant. And then the 1650 is what we was allocated from our town budget. Okay. And so determining what comes from where is kind of where we're where we're at right now so like this fifteen dollars for computer breeze if that's the um, it has to go to Bob Markle we can take that off of there right yeah. I don't know what the 15750 was that I was an he, invoice we got. I think he um, that was uh, when you started wasn't that something that 15750 was Joanne Pinatel. Right. So yeah, I believe that was the 45, 45, So that was an 45. old bill from June 30th that you sent me. But what about... I don't what do you have an old bill? bill? I don't have a copy of it. Bill. No. No. You, I think you sent me an email and said, you know, this bill came in, where does it get paid at it? That it was June 30th. Yeah, I don't have a copy bill. of it. I mean, we can grab it yeah. from Joyce if we need to. She, I All sat right. with her yesterday. So on the staples, where you know the card's going to be canceled. Destroyed. Yeah. And now do we uh, have to physically call them and cancel it? Well, this is the story. I so I took the bill home, and Shannon paid for the personal use of those items that were on that bill, and so they got a check, and then. There's charges on it for the uh, the notebook, the three ring notebooks that I told you um, they had ordered, and so you needed to decide whether you they can even be returned because, quite frankly, we're not going to use the notebooks anymore because the my sense senior center <coughs> well, is going to eliminate that, right? Well, I will. It could. What I will say is that if they don't have access to the computer. So I'm not sure if Flo is going to be have access to it. Darlene, maybe she's only in two days a week. So one of them is used in, for the sign up for the um, the treadmill or the um, the equipment. One is outside and people sign it up and they cross it out when they're not going to use it. Or that's one of the books. The other book is for the van. It could be all on the computer, but if somebody's calling and they're making an appointment we can't say that we're going to put it in the computer initially yeah. initially it might be in a book mm -hmm. okay so, so it doesn't always make determination of those i mean they're very inexpensive that we're not talking yeah, that's about not a big yeah. hundreds of dollars yeah. but i thought you told me and you know i have to i have to get used to this because sometimes you send me an email you say one thing and then something else happens so you said to me 
last Thursday that you were very busy, that you couldn't understand how these two women worked, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then when we talked on Monday, you said to me, that, you know, when you were um, um, about the, my senior center, you said, uh, I want to get it in, I want to, you know, get it started, I have time to do the data, because I said, well, the you data still need somebody to put it in. So they, they do the initial data entry. So if we give them an Excel sheet, or something from the town clerk that has every person that's over 60, it'll give us a database. And then we pick and choose who comes and who goes. Oh my God, you're talking about, what, 1,600 names? Yes, yeah. they will do that. We if have we have it on a sex cell sheet. I ran the list for the meet and greet. Well, we have, you know, I mean, that's available through the town clerk or, yeah. you know. Yeah. Right, so I don't have to do that. All I have to do is find them, and it's all alphabetical. So say um, Jim Goslin is going to use the van. So the, he's on the database. And nobody else can see this information, right? Right. Okay. It is a program that Darlene and I will use at this point. I don't know about flow, but Darlene and I will have access to it because I, they need to have more than one person. I can do so much, but Darlene has been a great administrative assistant. I can delegate to her and she can do it. She's very familiar with Excel and computers. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so anything that was written in a book can be put on the computer, but that has to be checked. It may be, it may be just looking up the name and checking a box, but then it'll all be in one place and it'll be all on it'll that program. Okay. Um, all right, so let me just finish uh, the staples. So I went to, so I got three 800 numbers. I had to call one 800 numbers for the rewards program. I had to call another 800 number uh, that I didn't get through, you know. One of them said, I guess, because of the hurricane or something. Uh, and then the other one was to call about the tax exempt status. Because I don't understand why we were never, you know, we weren't set up. So long and short of this, I went to Staples physically to the store to return the recorder. They would not accept it. I had the receipt and they said that electronics is, has a 15 day return policy. Oh my God. Yeah. Well, so it's usually on the slip. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Buried somewhere in the fine print. Or maybe yeah. so that you could so use it and then I, back So this you. is my position. I am going to turn it over to you. Okay. I said to this woman, I said, first of all, listen, we had an interim person. They did this. We were not aware. She's no longer here. Uh, we can't afford this. We have a company account. You need to do something for us. So I told them that you were going to be on the credit card until Vicki said, no, nobody should have this credit card. And so um, I suggested before we cancel the card that if you can say, you know, I'm the director, I, you know, this is. How much is the recorder? Uh, $99. Or mm -hmm. you can sick Joyce on it. <laughs> <laughs> and just say, you know. Um, okay. So it's on that original bill that we have. I can't stables. do any more now. I still have to get the tax re uh, reverse and then also uh, the, um, the rewards program because if the rewards uh, uh, program isn't applied, then we're paying a little bit more. But, you know, it's just just to line things up. I mean, I took this responsibility. The other thing is we have to do, I also, um, what's her name called? Um, oh, God, what's the artist? Uh, you know. The watercolor person. The watercolor. Betty? Betty uh, oh, Schaefer. 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 Yeah. She called and. Didn't get paid yet. No. But she forgot. So we have a report that needs to be filled out and submitted to the that. Mass Council, uh, Cultural Council. Then she will get her $400. She says she's not doing this anymore. However, she has somebody that can. We have to make a little money on this. This is a letter because from Lucy yeah. that she sent to us with the form on the back. That's yeah, yeah. what has to be yeah, yeah. submitted. Yes, I understand. Did she send it to the whole board? Before. No, just you and me. We're oh, both okay. on it. Okay, but yes, can we go back to the recorder for one quick second? Has the recorder been paid for? No. No. Oh, no. Yeah, no. It must have been. Paid for it. I, they paid for it recently. I said, why did you pay, leave that, those two credits out and just keep it 
and we'll use it for the meetings. So it's, it's obviously this one isn't working, and that this is my personal. This is one. my personal one. Yeah. So you can't. Nobody could. I mean, you know. I don't know what happened to. I don't know what happened to the speak. Remember the thing that um, that we bought uh, for the for the meetings for the lunches so that Jennifer could talk. Oh, the microphone. I don't know where that is. I it's don't know the, where the other closet. speaker is. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, they know where it is. Um, and there is, a, there is yeah. another, an old speaker that I returned to Joan. That it's on my desk. Yeah, Andrew had given me. Okay, but that goes back a while. All so right. This, the, also, in this, the, the only reason I know about the cartridge is it, because this famous Staples bill that had erroneous things on it. There was a cartridge ordered for the printer, so I'm just. That's my reference to right. surprise that and I knew how that. much printing do we do that we're out of right. that cartridge already. So, but we, I guess we have to order another one. But it was ordered in August. I mean, there was only one person there. I, that's why I'm saying that we, we and I didn't come and make we copies. Found no, <laughs> we found no cartridge, so we're just assuming Andrew put it in. Put it in. Maybe he didn't. But I, I, I don't know. So, All right. I will do that. That was the undercurrent from before. I'm sure if I get a hold of Andrew, he will yeah. tell me. Yeah, he's good. Um, but it, it was a lot. I mean, I don't know the yield of the cartridge or anything. Right. So, um, but it's usually those thousands. Those cartridges. Yeah, done I thousands. mean, I, I know. I just bought a new printer because I was doing the little bitty right. ones, and you have to change all four. Then it was costing me a fortune. I wasn't even oh, yeah. using the darn colors. And the other cartridge I have upstairs. I, I could do 5,000 copies. I know. Right. That's why I'm very surprised and if we're running low. Maybe we're not, we definitely didn't do 5,000. We, we haven't come across There yet. should be a status thing on that, too, to tell you how many copies you've done. I mean, I, per per we did, well, we did, did rentals. Did you want to see uh, the fax machine? There is a way to use it. I'm going to use okay, Bob you. Markle's fax machine. It's not going to, it's not going to, at least it'll get to this building. I, that's the only. He has a fax machine? He does. Oh, I never. Oh my God! So it's too. Con I just bought a new fax machine so I could communicate it's because too I, I thought it was mine. We have just to t take the plug out. It's the same phone number. You have to take the plug out, plug in, and then if you don't put it back right, then we can't use the copy machine. It's very confusing. I got a message. What was the message that I told you? That I, I said um, that somebody wasn't available. I said, wait, wait, "Who's talking to me?" It was a woman's voice. She said, "I don't know who I did." <laughs> It was, I, 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 the fax number that I used is Bob Markle's fax number, and he has it on on the. There's a report that has. I just I figure it'll get to the building, and if it's a just to see away, we can get. It. You think if you go to the higher up, you're going to get more results? Well, no. I'm just saying they may have equipment that works. All just, right. So just what do we confirm, Joan? What are we this doing with this? Is, are you taking this over? Okay, let me just finish real quick. It, the the cartridge things. that was open, that was ordered, is, is the, the actual same one, one that they need in right. there. Right. Canon 119. I'm going to have to look that up. You don't let go of that bone. Oh God! Because she's there's a deal. You know, when I didn't let go of a bone, you know why? Mm -hmm. You should have seen the grief I got from people. What is this? Oh, this so is. So I'm filing a complaint. <laughs> what bone no, am I letting? I, I think we need the yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. And, and, I, I, and I also need because that's probably a hundred dollars. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I mean it's only yeah, all it's got to be. Yeah. And, and, and what is? Should this. that have been voted? Um, did we take a vote on the state formula that I signed? I don't remember. I think we did. We already we approved it anyway. Yeah. We're on tape. We yeah. yeah. Well, you wanted to do it just in case. Yes, yes, yes. Just yeah, because I don't remember saying. I don't get to vote, right? No. no. Uh, Lucky you. Can I have a motion to approve the uh, for the chair to sign the state formula with So moved once, and I'll second it. Or All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. And so, yeah, so get your question and answer. You yeah, have uh, the, the, so the staples, should that come out of local or should that, I mean, we've already processed it. It usually comes out of office supply. Okay. Yeah. But is that under the town budget? Yeah, yeah, or yeah the of town. Of okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. I just want to, yeah. I'm still learning too. And one other question because we had a confusing on the last Thursday for the warrants. So will you be coming in on Thursdays to sign expense warrants? Do you want me to start doing that this year? Is it tomorrow? There is one. Tomorrow is Thursday. Yes, but I could do that up fairly quickly. The only one I have is the um, is the aerobic instructor, and I could probably do the yoga instructor. So there's just two, and I could do that today, well, so maybe why before is you the left. Why getting paid? I thought you said she did. She do one class. She's done four classes. She didn't get paid for October. Oh, oh, okay. I mean September. 
right. She's got a four class. Is there, do we approve the treasurer's report? Do we need to? Yeah, do I make a motion to approve the treasurer's yes. report. I'll well, second it or something. I'll yeah. yeah. move. Okay. I mean the. Uh, um, okay. Good job. One other quick question. It's that phone. She's tired. Um, yeah, I just have the job description. Should we give Joan some oh, direction okay. to start oh, working yeah. on a job? All right, so, we're going on a temporary so spot. that's important too. I'm yeah. sorry. I, with the formula grant, I'm supposed to put in job descriptions. I pulled the copy. I had three copies in a Manila folder of what was typed. Um, that was. Um, I don't even know. Who administrative did it. assistant. Yeah. I mean, Kathy and we gave tabled us something. it because Joan was coming on. So and now we so can turn now, it over to Joan to work on. So right. Well, she, yeah. she needs to review it, but then right. it has to go through PTP. Right. Yeah, right. 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 But, you know, that can. So, okay. yes, you'll sign. You so want to sign the expense warrants then, and I do the payroll? Yeah, you want me to do the expense? Before I leave, because tomorrow I have uh, yeah. wait, I have to be in North Hampton at 9.30. It'll take me 15 minutes. Okay. okay. Do that. Well, okay. I was supposed to go down to the Board of Health on job descriptions. Let's get back to them. I think you got well, to start the Manila envelope. Where is the envelope? At my home. Okay. All right. So I, she didn't send it to me electronically, so I will get it to you. Can okay. you? Oh, I'll send it to you. I'll give it. I'll yeah. If Joan Marks. If I can yeah. stop in on my way back from Northampton tomorrow, I'll swing by. Or if not, Monday. Monday's a holiday. Oh, Tuesday. Yeah, don't yeah, come you can Monday. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for your time. Uh, uh, thank you. Can I make a motion to adjourn? Thanks, everybody, for putting up with us. Second the motion. Uh, aye. 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 Is the red light? It's still on. So everyone wants a copy. I'll make copies for everybody of this. Doesn't sure. go off.